Aloha everyone. Welcome to the Halima Uma'u Crater Pond update for August 29th, 2019. I would like to take a moment to say a special aloha to all the new subscribers who have joined our channel community over the last few weeks. In this news update, I will be discussing the latest information released as of August 27th by the USGS on the Halima'u Ma'u Summit Crater Pond that has formed on the Mauna. This update will cover the time period between August 22nd and August 27th. On August 22nd, the USGS was able to make an unobstructed observation of the summit pond. The examination of the potential new lake yielded no significant changes in notability. However, it does seem to appear that the water level proceeds to increase slowly. USGS also estimated that the pond was approximately 230 feet or 70 meters long at the time. This wide-angle image, taken during the helicopter overflight, reveals the deepest part of the Kilauea caldera and the lower flanks of the Mauna Loa volcano in the background. The following image is a closer aerial composition showing the developing pond at the floor of the summit crater. For August 23rd and the 24th, there seems to be no data released from the USGS on the phenomenon occurring in the caldera crater. However, on August 25th, the USGS did release some more information and photographs. Based on observations, the water on the bottom of the crater floor seems to be continuing to expand and deepen. Take a peek at this photo comparison between the 23rd and 25th of August. If we look at the rocks at the water line, positioned at the bottom of the left image, and compare it to the same location in the right image, in two days, we see those rocks vanish beneath the surface of the milky green water. We can also observe the same demonstration by making the comparison of the rocks located at the top of the image as well. I want to note, the USGS states there was no visible bubbles witnessed on the surface of the pond during the August 25th observation. That seems to indicate that there were bubbles on the surface during the August 23rd observations. However, I want to point out that the USGS does not state if there was or was not any surface agitation on the 23rd in their information. Finally, the white line in the photographs is for scale reference and indicates the marker for plus minus 10 meters or 32.8 feet. Before I continue with August 26, I would like to remind everyone watching for notifications of new updates when they are available, you will need to click that subscribe button. Then tap that bell icon and select all notifications. If you also appreciate content like this, click the like button to let me know. Are you on Facebook or Instagram? Me too. Links to that and much more is down in the video description. I would also like to see what you think all this could mean for the future of the Kilauea volcano, so be sure to leave a comment. On August 26th, the USGS republished two photographs in comparison to each other. The left image is from August 7th, and the corresponding one from August 23rd is on the right. In the left image, the main pond was about 49 feet or 15 meters wide and was still isolated from the two smaller ones. Though, by the next day, all three bodies of water had joined to form a more significant pond at the bottom of the crater. Now if we look at the right side image, which is two weeks later, we can see that the pool has evolved quite significantly in its size and depth. In the August 23rd image, measurements were made that showed the body of water was approximately 115 feet or 35 meters wide and 262.5 feet or 80 meters long. To put this in a more fathomable context, I will do a little math for you. If we multiply 115 feet by 262.5 feet, we get 30,187.5 square feet, which is also the same as the surface area of the water. However, the pond is not a uniform shape. 
To roughly compensate, I will deduct 20% of the square footage. The total now is 24,150 square feet in surface area, or approximately 0.55 acres. That is the size of a small parking lot. So for everyone out there that lives on a half acre of land, your entire property would be covered by this pond. Though, there is a notable margin of error principally in the numbers. It is still very safe to say this phenomenon has developed significantly in a short amount of time. We now come to the last day in the report, August 27th. Thanks to great weather at the summit, the USGS personnel were able to use the laser rangefinder and determined that the water level is continuing to rise. The estimated rate of rising water is judged to be at 3.28 feet or 1 meter per week, which makes day-to-day -day size changes very subtle and challenging to ascertain. The temperature of the water seems to be remaining around 158 degrees Fahrenheit or 70 degrees Celsius. I believe this would be an indication that there has been no meaningful variance in the magma system underneath the crater. Finally, the color of the water seems unchanging and remains the milky greenish yellow color. I would also like to make mention, an email message on August 27th conveyed to me, the USGS is in the process of applying to the National Park Service for the permits which are necessary to allow them the ability to obtain the elusive water sample. However, the strategy for collecting the water specimens has not been completely figured out at this time. Closing out this update on the Halemaumau Crater Pond, I would like to share with you this time progression made from the images available. I have adjusted both the size and position of the images to help align them for a more comfortable, comprehensive viewing. Remember, for notifications about the availability of new updates, you need to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Be sure to click the bell icon and select all notifications so you don't miss any new content. If you would like to follow Doing Hawaii outside of YouTube, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to those and much more are in the description below. Finally, be sure to leave a comment to let me know what you think the future of the Kilauea Volcano will be. And as always, I hope you have an absolutely amazing morning, afternoon, or evening.